Hey everyone, it's Dealer back with another toy overview video. And after my 40 minute rant on this guy, I just felt it kind of appropriate to do kind of a full side by side with what I have available to me in my personal collection. And, you know, ho hopefully we can bring some of this home, right? Like, I get it. There's a, there's a, there is probably a majority that this appeals to. Here, we'll just, we'll just get him out of the way for now. Cause we got another figure to look at with this guy as well, but I want to focus on him for a second. So masterpiece, right? Masterpiece. Well, for the grapple video, which boy, oh boy. That was, was that far from a masterpiece. Um, masterpiece by definition. A work of outstanding artistry, skill, or worksmanship, an artist or craftsman's best piece of work. Well, I can tell you that compared to the first MP Megatron, this is definitely a step up, but as far as a masterpiece, and, and I get it, Folks want the the cartoon look, right? And that comes that comes at a at a price, I think. And what I mean by that is th this, in my opinion, Inferno, Grapple, Shockwave, Megatron, when compared to the other masterpiece figures, have a cheaper look and feel to them. Like Inferno looks like a kid's toy as opposed to a masterpiece. Grapple is just a mess. Like the paint finish, I get what they're trying to do. They're trying to compete with their third party rivals and start putting paint finish on, on their toys. But here's what I'll say. The paint here, the paint and everything here is good. What I have a problem with is why, why am I looking at, so on a, first, of, first of all, on a masterpiece, why is all this here? I get it. This, there's a chess gimmick here that maybe could have been better thought through. I, I don't know. But this is to, is, to me, this is an eyesore. When I, and and I, I, I get it. You're not going to be looking at the figure from an overhead view, but that's still an eyesore. The, this is an eyesore. The back, this, the whole back of this figure is an eyesore. These arms don't look finished at all. This this piece here doesn't look finished at all. Like and here's the deal, right? We can we can sit and say oh well, you know, it's got to turn into a pistol, so the engineering has to be complicated. Well, let me just remind you guys. That turns into the same thing as that. And you notice what I'm not seeing? Like, I'm not seeing kibbles and bits hanging off this thing. I'm not seeing hollow joints. I'm definitely not seeing disproportionate disproportions on the arms. Um, I mean, yeah, you know? And to bring it home, since I did my overview of this guy here, retailers have issued emails saying you can't even transform this or I should let me back that up they've issued emails cautioning people when transforming this so at, at BBTS he's hitting for about 230 which I canceled my pre-order through them Megatron is my favorite character he is my all-time favorite transformer I feel like I should be more excited for this guy than I am you know and maybe maybe I'm a complainer or maybe maybe at a certain price point I just like things a certain way which I think I'm gonna lean more towards that. But I feel what I paid for this guy versus what I paid for this guy, I got a more solid product out of this guy. And again, emails going out, pictures surfacing in the groups about breakage leaves a lot of room for consideration. Now, having said that, if you're like me, again, I really, I don't play with my Transformers because A, they're so expensive, B, 
even the third party guys have issues prone to breakage, Chromeware, whatever, whatever have you. Fans Toys, Make Toys, Keith, they've all had their issues. So I me, I'm a I'm kind of a set it and forget it kind of kind of guy when it comes to my transformers. That's me personally. You know, I know folks like my boy Darren, they like to go back and forth all day, every day, from robot to alt mode and and you know, those intermediate fan fan modes, I call them. Um, but I, I, I think as a community and my experience with Takara, I mean, there were emails that went out about uh, the assembly on Ramjet. I don't remember if anything went out on Thrust, but it wouldn't have surprised me because that thing's waist was, was wobblier than you know, the, the regular bar patron stumbling out at two in the morning, which at the going price, we as a community, I think should set the bar higher. We should expect better. This, this has been a long time anticipation. I get it. But final products, like why Like if you were to ask probably someone who knew nothing about Transformers and what their thoughts are on which one of these was the masterpiece, you'd probably, you'd probably get a lot of people leaning towards this because this just overall looks like a more finished product than this does. And some people, some people can, can look past that. Some people can forgive that because, oh, it looks like the cartoon. But again, I think even that comes at a price, you know? People are saying, oh, well, the line's evolving. I don't know. I don't know that I'm seeing it through those, through those lenses, through those eyes. Um, one thing that should be noted. Right? Third party. My official one, right out of the box, That's, a, that's annoying. It's really, that's really annoying that it can't stand up, you know, under its own weight. It can't support its own weight. Like, come on, guys. Come on, guys. Get with the program. Seriously. Me, I got no problems telling, telling it like how I think it is. Because, you know, I'm paying for my, I'm, I'm paying for my toys. I only have a finite amount of money to throw at this. So when I'm throwing price point wise, what I'm throwing at this, I, me personally, I just expect a little bit more quality craftsmanship. Um, and I got no problem saying it. And I mean, heck, even let's just, let's just put, let's just pull him aside for a second and let's bring him on. So look at that. That is that. This dude's like a brick, brick. He will withstand the test of time. No problemo. No problemo. Um, you know, he has a really, a really good presence, good proportion, all that jazz, right? That looks like a professional product to me. Now, when we bring this guy in, it really looks Fisher Pricey. It really does. And, you know, I get that they're starting to incorporate more ratchets, which they should. Absolutely, they should. But I don't, I don't know that I like necessarily what we're getting. And I'm not saying this doesn't look like a, this looks like a finished product by, by every, in every sense. It's just when you compare it to other things that are out there, you see that this is definitely going to give this a run for its money. Just as far as an overall figure, like figure wise, build wise, etc. All right. So getting back to why we are originally here. <clears throat> so let's, I had, and I had to dig for this one, boys. I had to dig for this one. So bear with me here.
you know what, I'm, I'm just, screw it, whatever. I told myself I wasn't gonna release him from his plastic grave, but we'll just, we'll do it just for, we'll do it just for the sake of this video. Cause I'm not even gonna lie to you. This thing, we all know, we all know where, we all know what this is, how this is, and the emails that ensued from, from the man. You know what though, here's what I'll say. At least third party, takes ownership and you have options, you have recourse. If you get a Takara figure that's a dud, you have zero recourse. Zero, zilch, none. And this one, I'm gonna tell you right now, this one does not have the updated uh, ball joint put in it. This is, I'm, I'm just taking this out of its packaging. Um, this is a, I'm pretty sure that's a second production run, but in, in I don't know. Let's just, for, for sake, for the sake of, of this, let's just talk about this section here. Even still, this one looks more finished than this one. Now granted, neither of these have a chest gimmick, but they pr this, pro this probably could have been, you peg it in, you peg it out. Done, done, and you still could have had this finished look in my opinion. That's all I'm trying to say. That's all I'm trying to say is, for a masterpiece, this looks a tad unfinished. When, comp when you compare it to other things that are out on the market, that are out there, and the price point. Now granted, <laughs> I don't remember what he retailed at, and man, a bunch of us got, a bunch of us got bamboozled <laughs> on, on this one here. But what I will say is the one that I had where the head snapped off, X Transbots was very responsive. They had me replacement parts with the swiftness in the mail. And to me, I place a value on that. At the rate QC's been going, my Inferno had what had some doozies. My grapple, the whole paint finish. God forbid you have to return something to uh, AMI, AMI. You can't do it. You can't do it. No matter if you can prove <laughs> it's defective or not. And my, my grapple has paint chips. The finish is terrible. And that's, that's the only point I'm trying to bring home, fellas, is, is you know, aside from this guy, this is, new, this is all new, all new. But still, in, in my opinion, this is my opinion, on a masterpiece figure, these types of things just should not be present, in my opinion. Um, and I, I get it. I get it. People are, they are diehard fanboys and they want that cartoon look, man. They want it to look like you just pulled it off the screen. But technically, you can argue that doesn't look like it came off the screen. It, it, it for, the, for the most part, it does. But I don't remember seeing like any of this stuff in the cartoon. I'm just saying... I don't remember seeing any stuff like this in the cartoon. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I don't remember seeing any of this stuff right here in the cartoon. I guess in all fairness, let's do a same. Same side, boys. Same side. I'm just like, I, I can't. This looks like more of a finished product than that. And I have no problem saying that. I have no problem saying that. You know, and for those out there that, that think otherwise, I mean, it's your money. Spend it how you want. If you can afford it, go for it. Seriously. If you can afford it, go for it. That's that's the slogan and model that that uh, that I'll, I'll live by and I'll die by it. But what I'm not going to do is I will not go quietly into the night without a little being and seeing when it comes to these guys. Because what, what they're charging, again, Thrust shouldn't have been the price that he was. He really shouldn't have. Neither should have Ramjet. Those are retooled molds. They are, they are milking those molds. And for the QC issues, I had, I, had to, I had to return Ramjet twice. First one was misassembled. Second one, the rear piece was kind of off into the left uh, on the back, the back panel that, that sits on his back there on, the, on that hinge. And... 
Inferno, I kind of just live with. You know, I took an X-Acto knife and scraped some paint off his eye. Um, grapple, there's there's just no fixing what I got going on with my grapple. That, that thing's just toast. It's toast. If I ever do sell it, I'll probably sell it at like 20, 30% loss because, you know, I wouldn't do some, I wouldn't do somebody like that. But nonetheless, back to this guy. Again, I'm just saying with what else is out there, like Takara should take heed. Or maybe they shouldn't. Maybe they don't care. Maybe they know they got y'all. Maybe they know that they're gonna, whatever they're gonna put out, a certain percentage of people are gonna buy it just because it's them, just because it's official. And they can and they can continue to get away with stuff like this. But these guys, like not as much skin in the game, arguably, maybe, I, I don't know. I don't feel like th this, again, cleaner. Cleaner look. Cleaner o overall look. More finished look than I think that we got here. And that's all I'm saying. So I'm going to leave it at that. Again, I hope you guys, regardless of whether or not you agree with my opinion, I hope y'all get something out of the, the videos. And, and again, I'm going to end it on email from stores about issues like, hey, don't transform this. Hey, don't attach the gun barrel. Well, hey, what then? Okay, so you're telling me I'm just going to buy it and it's going to be a statue. Got it. Check. Email from the, act from the actual vendor. Hey, you know what, guys? We know we screwed, we screwed a little thing. We screwed some things up. Um, we're sorry. If you have issues, email us and we'll take care of you. And what I can say is they took care of me. They did. Granted, he's, he's not out on display. He will, he will swiftly be getting put back into his clamshell prison. Um, and then, and then there's these guys right here, right? I'm not going to, okay, full disclosure, right? Let me just get him out the way for a minute. I'm not going to say that this guy didn't have a couple of issues. Number one, this, this thing here has a problem staying extended. Not a big deal though, because set it again, I'm a set it and forget it kind of dude, right? And he's easy on the eyes. Very symmetric, right? Very non panel -y. Again, turns into the same thing that this guy turns into, essentially, essentially. Might not be a one for one exactly, but essentially, it's the same thing. I don't, he can support the weight of his cannon, okay? Now, where he does have it, my biggest issue with this guy, Boop, 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 ba, 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 ba. Oh, wait, maybe it's, maybe it's when I do this. That's right, because, yeah, there's a modified way that I display the barrel, right? So what you do is you take, you take this piece, you do it like that, and that's, that's just, I have to, I have to do it because the way I have him positioned on my shelf, I have someone right here, so I have to do this. Not the most ideal way, I don't think. I, I'm, I mean... It breaks up the finish on the back, but check it out. Whoop. Ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba. So he is not without his issues either. What I am what I am saying is I think of all the whoa, of all the Megatrons that I bought, right? I feel like this guy here has the least amount of issues uh with him. And you know, I I, I don't know. Make Toys doesn't send me toys. I don't get I don't get props for talking up any one company's product like some of these dudes do. But all I'm gonna say is, for me, I, I got I got my masterpiece Megatron. He'll have a place on my shelf, but again, just I don't. Why is that there? Why is Why is that there? But it's not there. That's all I'm saying. So, anyway. I'm going to end it on that note because <laughs> I'm getting all worked up again. And again, Megatron, my all-time favorite Transformer. He's my all-time favorite. So imagine my excitement when they announced it. And then imagine my, oh, kind of tilted head, hmm, look, when, you know, all this stuff came out. So anyway, I'm going to end it on that note. I uh, hope you guys take care. 
And again, regardless of whether or not you agree with my opinion on Transformers, because I'm not going to lie, I nitpick these more than I do G.I. Joe. Because one of these is like, what, 20 G.I. Joes? <laughs> so I'll, I'll end on that note. And uh, until next time, hope you guys take care and catch on the flip side. Thanks.